If you ate a lot of turkey this Thanksgiving, you may sleep a little better tonight. Something heavy eating means better sleeping. Now, others think it's the tryptophan that makes us drowsy. That's an amino acid found in turkey. So, what does tryptophan do to our bodies? And what other foods is it found in? WCCO's John Lawrence fought off his food coma to answer that good question. It's the one day of the year when you don't have to ask what's for dinner. Turkey, cranberries, stuffing. Food coma. That's what I think they call it. And every family has a grandparent or aunt or uncle who falls asleep on the couch right after the turkey and mashed potatoes are gone. Sometimes that's the great escape is that you can use a nap as an excuse to get away from your family. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got uh, unsaturated fats, which are good for us. And it's got tryptophan and it's got protein. Ted Labuza has no problem talking turkey. He's a food science professor at the U of M. He says our bodies convert tryptophan into hormone like compounds, such as serotonin and melatonin, the latter of which can act as a natural sleep aid. Does turkey make you sleepy after you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. But the truth is, turkey isn't the only food that contains tryptophan. Steak, any kind of meat, it's going to be there. That's all right. In fact, turkey really doesn't have any more tryptophan than chicken. Egg whites, pork chops, cheese, and sunflower seeds are just some of the foods that have higher tryptophan levels than turkey. I think it trips you up a little bit. Other foods and less blood flow to your brain after a big meal likely contribute to feeling groggy. Still, Labuza says tryptophan is an essential amino acid. It can help with sleep and depression and can be bought over the counter. Turkeys? It's just far more enjoyable. When it comes with turkey, it's not like we're going to sit around with mashed potatoes and gravy and then have a bottle of tryptophan and a bottle of wine. <laughs> Maybe it all goes together. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. All right, if you have a good question, please email it by going to wccocom links.